guys, so I'm going to hop on super quick and chat about a client that I had today, new client, gained 90 pounds in a year, and you might be surprised what we focused on today. So you have to excuse my hair, I went paddling at lunch, so I wore my hat, and this is what I ended up with, and it's okay, so I didn't change it. Um, so the person that I worked with today had gained 90 pounds in a year, a lot of it came from not cooking anymore um, and ordering Uber Eats. They were also not sleeping. So sleeping sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes a couple hours. Going to bed late. Some days they work 7 till 1. Um, other days they work 2 until 8, I think. So lots of differences um, in routines and patterns. Stress level was rated at six out of six to seven out of ten, but had a, had a higher stress year. And we know what does stress do? Stress um, changes our appetite and our satiety hormones. It also puts all the energy in our extremities, so we don't feel hunger cues. So that can dampen their ability to feel hungry or feel full. Um, what else do we talk about? Stress, sleep, hydration. So. Being dehydrated also increases that cortisol response, which puts the body in that stress mode, right? So my goal working with people through intuitive eating is to get them back to having some sense of control over their eating, listening to their body. So you might be surprised, like the easiest thing if we were focused on weight loss, and that's what he self-referred for weight loss, but we focused on getting adequate vitamin D, fluids, and sleep because those are things that are driving the eating behavior, the hunger that's not in balance. So those are things that we would focus on first. And I left it to the client. What do you think you could change right now? The food situation we talked about, you know, gentle nutrition and balanced eating, but I really want him to build on that self-awareness piece. And he picked to start eating one day a week like from making food at home. They're purchasing over a hundred dollars worth of food a day through Uber Eats right now. So that's gonna also get expensive and get unmanageable at some point. But it's coming back to see what are the easy things they can do. We can follow up in two weeks. So fluid, hydration, stress, and sleep. Okay, fluid and hydration are obviously the same. So hydration, stress, and sleep, those are the things we focused on. Maybe making one meal at home, so I gave them some support around gentle nutrition, what that looks like, but we've gotta to get to those core things to start because we can't even hear what our body is saying if we're not getting enough sleep and we're focusing in this high stress state all the time. All right, so that's what I do when the client comes to me for weight loss and they're telling me they gain 90 pounds in a year, we still have to start with those basics and build on that and in a way that feels manageable to them. Okay, if you guys have a question or if you want me to cover a topic, let me know. And I hope you got outside. It's beautiful where I am today. Have a fantastic week, guys. Thanks for watching.